Greetings Metal Community, it's Roger back with another video, it's um, another collection of dates uh, as promised, a bunch of tapes, uh, try not to drop them but uh, yeah, this stack has been around for, uh, yeah some of them have been for, I have had them for several months but I haven't been in the mood for, um, yeah, showing them. Uh, but yes, in the background, if you can hear it, we are uh, listening to Hibernus Murtis with the album uh, The Monoliths of Cursed Slumber. This is a US death metal band. I can turn it up. I'm of course playing it on YouTube, so uh, I can show you the tape. Old school, Blood Harvest. Release. Yeah, this is kind of really cool, uh, heavy, kind of um, a slightly murky guitar, but very juicy as well, and great vocals. Had this nice rasp deep in his throat, and uh, said a little bit of cold. I was thinking South American when I heard this first. I didn't know there was a US band. I actually thought it, yeah, some of the South American bands, because it does have this... Um, really cool feel or vibe to it. A little bit of evil uh, feel to them. Um, they do play slow and, and faster stuff, but uh, it's not like uh, the doomy stuff that I'm listening to a lot, but uh, they do blast as well. Uh, great drumming here as well, you know, he kind of keeps the, the groove going all the way through. And uh, yeah, just a killer, killer uh, album. Then I picked up, uh, you know, the new Black Wound, or new, came out last year, Swedish, um, yeah, Death Doom, or Death with the Death Doom parts, uh, I would say this is kind of, uh, I like the previous a little bit better, but that's kind of the production was a little bit clearer. Uh, on the previous uh, release uh, but yeah it still uh, works very well and um, this is shorter so of course there's lesser doom parts if that's kind of the way they go I don't know but uh, I felt the previous one had that one with the blue uh, skull on the front I don't remember the title if they kind of are going for a little bit more speedy or speedy more up-tempo uh, death metal than the slower stuff, I don't know, but a uh, great, great, uh, 14 minutes of great uh, death with uh, Doomy parts. I think a lot of you uh, in the underground knows very well Black Wound. Then I picked up the uh, Funeral Whore. Uh, what's it called? This is called uh, Dreadfully Expired. And this is their third release, I think. Uh, I really like the album that came out, I don't know, four or five years ago. Um, I would say I do get a lot of grave from this without the H2 uh, guitars. Uh, different tempos, but, uh, but uh, there's a lot of riffs that reminds me of grave. But uh, I really think this is a step down from the previous one. And I did not uh, dig this as much as, as the previous one because I thought that was great. But uh, it's still a good uh, release. And, uh, do check them out if you if you like the previous one. But uh, yeah, kind of a step down for me uh, this far. I mean, I haven't played that much. Uh, then we have Mycelium from uh, Scotland. One man project. Uh, with the uh, album title Misoticism, uh, dismantling the uh, profates. I don't know. Yeah, there's the gentleman behind the old shebang. Uh, yeah, great, more uh, kind of modern sound to it. Um, slightly brutal, I would say. Uh, program drums, I think. I haven't checked. Says he plays all the uh, instruments, but I, I think it's program drum. But it sounds 
So I'm pretty good and he has um, not falling into the trap with uh, two blasty uh, kick drums on it. So uh, the drums kind of keep a, a certain groove even, even though the uh, death metal is uh, pretty... I mean, it's not brutal death metal, but um, it's death metal with brutality. I would say it's, it's more in the vein of, I would say, suffocation and uh, cannibal corpse in, in form of brutality. And not that they sound like yeah, suffocation. And they're not so technical as suffocation, but there is uh, some technicality to this as well. But yeah, I really enjoy this uh, release as well. And one I haven't played more than once. Um, yeah, and this is also, uh, you know, Blood Harvest release. I will try to be better than saying what labels they are on. <laughs> this is an, um, uh, I think it's a US band. Vacuous Depths uh, Corporal Humili. Humili Humiliation. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of the more of the uh, new wave of death metal sounding uh, band. Uh, I don't know which label. Yeah. Pretty cool tape, you know, or orange with this uh, printed artwork. My uh, com camera shit for tapes, but um, yeah. But uh, I need to spin that more, but uh, but it's kind of in the same, you know, with uh, murky, uh, doomy, uh, death metal. And we are uh, going over to, yeah, this is from Dying Victims, uh, Norway's Evoke, with uh, Seeds of Death. This is, uh, well, Metal Archives, of course, says, um, you know, Black Thrash. I'm, I don't like that uh, label putting on everything. Uh, for me, this is more evil thrash. Uh, the vocals slightly more towards black, but uh, music is more just evil thrash. They not very fast compared to um, yeah, Death Hammer, for example. This is more up tempo thrash metal. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, I really enjoy this one, and um, I will be. Uh, watching these guys this is a 2020 release if I'm not mistaken but if you want some uh, thrash or black and thrashes as the um, but it's not there's very little black metal in it so I, I don't know but it's a great uh, thrash evil thrash album as I would call it uh, then we have a uh, self-release from a Ukrainian black metal band uh, Mörkt Tre. I will not uh, pronounce the title and the tape is very do it yourself. Um, ordered it straight from the band. Uh, yeah, this is kind of um, you could say you know Ukrainian black metal with uh, Nocturnal Mortem. Uh, there are elements of that here, but there is also a lot of the um, early Norwegian because of the synth. You know, it's it's that uh, kind of. Slightly cheesy synth uh, that uh, was the uh, normal back in the you know early 90s when the Norwegian black metal scene started, uh, and that creates a pretty cool and kind of old school feel to this whole thing. Of course, it's Ukrainian lyrics and um, very cool, great vocalists. Uh, and they have these atmospheric parts, and the synth is not making it like um, symphonic uh, black metal. It's just that. Uh, synth uh, carpet you have behind uh, the guitars and, and uh, like we like we I mean like people did back in the days with the synths it was not like the Dimmuborger uh, shit that uh, came around but uh, yeah so a uh, Mörkt Tre which is a kind of a dark tree <coughs> you know, there's a dark tree in the wood and then I picked up, uh, I haven't opened this because I have them on CD, but this is the uh, two Typhonian um, releases. Uh, this is the reissue of uh, Beneath the Streams of Life. Uh, I don't remember, 18 or something that this came out. And the uh, 2020 release. 
the cosmic pendulum of time. This is more known. I'm, this was shown uh, quite a bit in 2020 or 21. I don't remember. It's been so long ago, you know. Sunshine Ward has released these two tapes. Uh, more, well, on this album, the second song is very, very vocal. Uh, but apart from that, I would say they are more Swedish sounding HM2. Uh, not the sharp HM2, but it's certainly more towards the Swedish um, uh, scene. Uh, very cool uh, leads uh, here as well, you know, great melody leads. Then uh, the rest of my tapes are from Huang Kwan Records in uh, China. Uh, demo uh, reissues or EP from the good old days. First one is uh, uh, Malefis. Malediction, uh, of course, if you can see it there, with the uh, framework of uh, contortion. I think this came out in um, 93. That's a good thing, but Wong Kwan, they kind of have the original year and the uh, reissued year on there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, every tape is limited to 100, and this is number 28. So uh, yeah, English death metal, I think, with... Um, I do think they're from England. I don't know. I might be wrong. Uh, kind of slightly a grind element to them as well. Uh, not the best production on this, but uh, it's it's a good demo sounding. And uh, it's a good demo. I, I like it. Uh, it's not fantastic, but uh, cool to have. You know, I collect these old demo stuff and uh, think they are pretty cool to have. So. Uh, then we are going back to Sweden with uh, in kind of uh, one of the few Swedish bands that didn't use HM2. Pedal Defleshed. Uh, this is the EP from um, 94. The, uh, called uh, Ma Bells Kapel. It's kind of uh, playing with words there. Old school looking tape. Um, yeah, this is um, also have a little bit grindy element, but it's kind of Swedish death metal without the HM2. Uh, kind of also a little bit towards the English, uh, you know, cancer uh, in a way. I would say they have kind of a little bit of the English scene as well, but that might be the grinding elements, you know, to make make me think of that. But uh, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty good uh, demo or EP. Then we have Italia's uh, Electrocution. Uh, the first album by them are pretty well known in the underground. I don't remember the title of it, but um, this was pre that. Um, kind of a, um, a little bit more trashy death metal on this, uh, I feel. And a little bit technical as well. Uh, not the best production on it, but uh, it's a demo, so it's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a little bit, um, uh, they vary a lot uh, in, in kind of what they do. It's kind of thrash and, and then death metal, um, kind of um, the first songs are more towards death and they, they get more thrashier. Um, as it goes, I don't know if this is several... Um, if they have some other stuff on there, but uh, yeah, pretty cool uh, early, early kind of tech, slightly technical, thrashy death metal. Um, but I think the you know the first album is 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 much better and much more structured in a way. Then we are going to Denmark uh, again. You know Hong Kong, Wang Kwan records uh, this is infernal death uh, this is a great great uh, demo uh, this is really good stuff uh, pretty deep but not as uh, pretty deep vocals but not as deep as normally from the Danish scene at that time or still is you know with the undergang and all that but uh, again uh, this is very much English sounding um, this is 
uh, also reminds me of cancer, um, especially the rhythm section, kind of the drumming. Uh, but it's, it's kind of um, probably because of the um, vocals, it kind of separates uh, them a lot. But uh, this is quality stuff. Uh, I really like this uh, stuff. Uh, a mirror blackened by Infernal Death. Kind of just straight up uh, 90s death metal. Now the last one is uh, kind of the coolest looking uh, cover or uh, this is Evil Incarnate and it has this embossed uh, logo on it. Really cool. This is uh, very basic death metal from uh, US. Uh, demos from 97 or and 98 demos or EPs, I don't know uh, what it is, but uh, a little bit too basic for my taste. Uh, it's not bad at all, I mean, it's it's, it's solid, but uh, it was kind of not giving me what I really wanted. I wanted some more, I don't know, aggression. It's kind of, uh, the tempo-wise, kind of reminds me a little bit of Sorrow, but uh, not as good. Of course, they do blast and change up, but uh, on the slower parts, they kind of sound a little bit like solo. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, just riffy, uh, basic death metal. But a very cool, um, you know, color on it. And, uh, that's, so that's, uh, yeah, that was all I had for this tape um, edition. Uh, as I said, there will be a vinyl and a CD update as well. Um, I will shoot them separate. Or, so um, you don't, it, they won't be too long, uh, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, thanks all for watching and uh, subscribing, and uh, I will be back um, in a couple of days with a new video. Until then, be sure.